Hello again, Porsche collectors. We have a uh, Porsche from the first Kyosho mini car collection. It says here 399 yen, like around four dollars or something like that. If you want to pause the video here, let me get the focus. Those are the other colors and models in this collection. All right, it says there 2006 is when this thing came out. They're all blind boxed, so someone wrote notes on that. Yeah, this is a blister pack version. Here's a little story. The 944 came out, I guess, introduced in 81, but I think Wikipedia says model year 82. It was a more luxurious, better upgrade to the 924. But then uh, the S2 came out in 1989 until the end of production, which was 1991. And so the original ones had 2.5 liter, around 140, 160 horsepower engines. But the, the last version, the S2, had a 3 liter inline 4, which was the largest inline 4, I guess, of its day, 3 liters, making over 200 horsepower, and then naturally aspirated, no turbo or anything like that. And then uh, 0 to 60 was 6 seconds for this S2 version, where the originals were more like 8 seconds or 9 seconds, pretty slow cars back then. 14,000 of these S2, S, S2s were made worldwide. Here are the other color choices. I instinctively want the red ones because I think about the movie Pretty in Pink and the dude, the rich kid in that movie had one of these. But I went with silver because Kyosho in red colors usually means paint rash. This is obviously used. It is quite uh, grimy, this packaging. Hopefully it wasn't abused, but I do see a scratch on the roof or some sort of grime there. to some photos here. Hopefully with that giant photo you can see kind of compare between the model and the photo it's hard can't really focus on two objects you know. Looks pretty good. Here's a side view. I don't know if these are the same wheels in the as on the 928. I can't remember. I gotta get the 928 that Kyosho made one of these days. Although it looks a little bit weird. I'm hoping someone will make, redo the 928 in premium format. Alright, but this review looks pretty good. This must be a European casting because the US bumpers are much larger and uglier. So this must be casted off of a European based uh, 944. Okay, so first thing here, yeah, those wheels. They look close enough to the photographs. I like that there's five little lug nut holes there. Well, they're not really holes. They're, they're depressions. They don't go all the way through. And then uh, there's even a depression for the center cap. But uh, there is, I think, light, yep, passing between these spoke holes, so that's nice. And then it's got some good curvature here on the tires. They're not slab-sided, so that's pretty good. There's a little orange paint here for this marker. Totally smooth, though. No bump. There is a bump for the door handle and that's painted black. Uh, the side mirrors are casted in and then this little fuel filler there. There's some black paint on the plastic for the window molding. Uh, the riding stance actually looks pretty good. It looks very much like the photograph, so nice. Some Kyoshos have high stances. Alright, so nice plastic lenses here, orange paint here, then you know the pop-ups are in the down position. Looks like there's some black paint in these recesses here, so that's pretty nice. Okay, the Porsche badge is very well proportioned. It doesn't look like a MacBook on the, on the roof, you know, it's pretty small. But here we have some either, I think that's actually a casting blob, like metal. It's just, or maybe it is paint rash, I don't know. There's a lot of little bubbles here, so that's too bad. I was hoping the metallic would prevent paint rash. The little fluid ejectors have some black paint on them. The wiper blades are raised, and I think they have black paint on them as well. Interior details are standard Kyosho blister pack. Just uh, nice molded details, but it's black, you know? But then again, I think a lot of 944 interiors might have been black, so that's kind of accurate. The rear wiper blade is raised as well, and painted black. 
and I do suspect it actually does just come in through the glass here. I might be mistaken. The rear wing has some black paint here. It seems to be obviously part of this casting. Okay, it's well done. And then uh, the back end, we have the nice thick tail lights. Oh, very good separation of the the backup light color. You know, it's clear. Then we have some orange here, and then splitting with the printing on there. And then it looks like there's some, you know, texture for the lens. So that's good. The Porsche badge or text, it's not even a badge, is very well printed because it's an outline. They're just printing this thin line, and it's all there. 944s. Two, I guess that's a two. Can't really make out that. Pretty lame exhaust tip, though. It is. I feel they could have made that hollow a little bit. And then this must be a separate piece as well. And then uh, what is this? I wonder if the spare tire is vertical in this thing. Maybe that's a bump for the spare tire. Strange. Decent enough details here. Tells you about the car, the scale, who made it. Just doesn't tell you when. Press fit together, so if there are any problems, you might have to drill it apart. Nice tire treads, really small blocks. I do feel the tires are a little narrow, at least the rear tires. You know, looking at the rear photograph, this wheel should be wider for sure. Okay. Alright, uh. Roof looks fine. So under super magnification, well this doesn't require magnification, but it's just, in general the paint's okay, I guess. I mean for something over a decade old, it doesn't seem so bad. So I'm pretty happy with it. It could have been worse. They're definitely worse Porsches from, from Kyosho. So let me get a coaster set up and we'll see, compare. Alright, so I'm just going to pull out a bunch of more Kyoshos here. First we have a 914 from 1969. I like how it only has one mirror. I'm pretty sure the other mirror was an option or maybe it wasn't even available. This uh, next Kyosho is a 911 SC from 1978. And then a Porsche 959 from 1986. Now this is where Kyosho, the tail of this is so squished it's not good. So I kind of feel the 959 definitely needs to be redone by a premium brand if not an actual resin brand because that's such an iconic car. It's you know one of the first modern supercars in my opinion. But uh, Kyosho, eh, I guess for the price, maybe it was like six bucks or four dollars if it's from this collection. It's not from this collection. But anyways, it could have been maybe six dollars when it's brand new, so it's okay, but obviously the car deserves better. Alright, I'm going to get these guys out. And I think, you know, on this time frame, it's possible someone could have cross-shopped this with the Mondial, because it's a 2 plus 2 also. That's also by Kyosho. obviously going to be much smaller. The 911. Yeah, you know, I think the 911 would have been cross-shopped with the Mondial. I just don't have any other castings that would be similar to a 944. So, I'm reaching, grabbing for something. Okay. Anyways, Kyosho is still, you know, they're not the best brand out there, but I, I like them. I, because I always factor in the original price. Truthfully, if you're getting into the hobby though right now, you know, eBay prices for Kyosho's cost more than uh, Mini GTs. And Mini GTs, I would say, are better in general. And then some Kyosho's go for as much as the NO64s or even more expensive models than that. And NO64 just blows away any Kyosho any time of the day. So if you're new to the hobby, I would suggest you start with Mini GT, maybe Pyro 64, those are all around the same quality as Kyosho. Well, I think Mini GT is a little bit better. Uh, but then, yeah, 
and 064 and uh, LCD model. Those are fantastic brands as well. Okay, but we're talking about the Porsche today, so I think uh, you know for its age, this model turned out pretty well. I'm pretty happy to have it. Not no major problems, just a tiny bit of a paint bubble or casting bubble there. Okay, well thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next Kyosho review.